Hi, this is a tutorial based on sprite change. It is a very basic tutorial, but useful nevertheless. Let's go ahead and look at what we've got here. So what we've got is kind of like a, a shooting arena and my head floating in empty space. And if I were to shoot my head, it changes. As you saw, my face expression changed it. Now I have two different face expressions that we can have. We've seen that one already. Let's see if we can get the other one. There we go. There's a different one. So there's a 1 in 50 chance, or 50% 50 chance, that my head will change into 1. And then if it doesn't change into 1, it changes in the other by default. All right. Let's look at what we've got under head one, which controls everything else. I got four events here, two collisions. The collision with the tile is just meant so the head won't go through the tile. It'll kind of uh, bounce back into play if it, if it hits the tile. But my shot, whenever I shoot and the shot and the head collide, there's a chance, one out of two, and this can be found in, oh, control tab right here. So with a chance at a 1 out of 2, being 50%, it will change into head 2, being right here. Else, it will change into head 3. Now to get the sprite change, after it changes into head 2 and I want it to change back, let's look at head 2. When head 2 is created, I play the sound, I'm getting hit, and then I set an alarm, and I have 15 clicks here um, before it changes back. And so after that alarm um, rings, then it changes back into head one using uh, this function right here, uh, change instance. And that's it. I have a few other things in here you could look at the head, how it's floating around, kind of weird, and how things are bouncing off the tiles. And you can scan through my code after downloading this file to take a look at that.